unbelievable story. A group of rabbis accused of charging desperate Orthodox Jewish wives tens of thousands of dollars to force their husbands to grant them divorces. Federal prosecutors say the alleged divorce service involved kidnapping, beatings, and torture with cattle prods. Sinas Rosa Flores is here to tell us about the supposed plot and how it was uncovered. Rosa. Well, Don, let me tell you this. It sounds like a movie plot. A wife wants a divorce. The husband doesn't want to grant it, so she talks to her rabbi, who helps her hire a few, quote, tough guys to get the job done. Unfortunately, folks, this is real, and it was well described in court documents that reveal 10 people are involved and facing kidnapping charges. Now, here's a peek at a window into how this all went down. And I'm going to quote here. This is, quote, you need to get him to New York where someone either can harass him or nail him. Plain and simple. The curtain fell, folks, when FBI agents raided two New York locations Wednesday night, exposing what undercover FBI agents had been working on for months. One of those agents posed as an Orthodox Jewish wife who wanted a divorce. Now, according to court documents, the conversation with one of the rabbis went something like this. Quote, basically what we are going to do, uh, be doing is kidnapping a guy for a couple of hours and beating him up and torturing him and then getting him to give the get. Now, according to Jewish law, a get is a document that a husband must provide his wife to obtain a divorce. And the price for getting this forced get was pretty high. According to court documents, $10,000 for the rabbi to approve the kidnapping, and then an additional $50,000 to pay the tough guys who were willing to beat uh, the man and obtain that get, something the complaint says the rabbis did every 12 to 18 months. This is just uh, an unspeakable crime anytime you have individuals who go against other non legal, lawful uh, people who are just living their lives and violence is committed. The attorney for one of the defendants tells us that this is obviously a very difficult situation for the 10 defendants involved. They all pleaded not guilty to kidnapping charges. Now, if convicted, they face a maximum sentence of life in prison. And we should add that they are being held without bond pending a bail hearing next week. Don. Oh. Rosa Flores, thank you for that. And I want to bring in now Blue Greenberg. She is the founder of the Jewish Orthodox Feminist Alliance and the author of On Women and Judaism. I mean, explain. I'm, I'm shocked that this actually happens. You said it does. Why is a get so crucial? Because that is the way one divorces in Jewish law, and a husband is authorized to give his wife a get. That's what ends the marriage. And most husbands in a situation of divorce, give their wives a get or have it written and give it to them. But in some cases, these recalcitrant husbands uh, withhold a get for spite or blackmail and they tie their wives up for years. Does a woman have any other option short of hiring someone for twenty-five for $10,000 to convince him? And does, does she have any other alternative? And the bottom line is she has some alternatives, uh, which is to pre for the community to pressure the husband, uh, sanctions against the husband, but in some cases that doesn't work and the man disappears or he refuses and uh, she's left chained to a marriage that has failed and a husband that is is abusing her. Should something change here, would you? Yes, it definitely should and as painful as this is, because the Orthodox community is a law-abiding community and this uh, casts a very negative uh, uh, appearance or a feeling about the Orthodox community because this is part of traditional Jewish law. But yes, this is a systemic problem uh, that a recalcitrant husband can abuse the privilege and the responsibility and the law has to undergo change. Do you see it changing? Well, I think soon. examples such as this that are so embarrassing and so flagrant, I think will help. The rabbis who hold the interpretive keys to the tradition have responsibility here, and we should never have come to this because this is an age-old problem. Yeah, we appreciate you coming on CNN. Thank you, Blue Greenberg. Thank you.